Hey, what is up guys? Vios here and welcome back to another video. So today's video is not for everybody. I'd say it's mostly for sound designers and people who are looking to save a lot of time, okay? Um, basically, I'm going to be showing you how to um, get out of a big unedited, unedited file like this, um, how to get a nice folder with just the individual samples all cut up and nice. Uh, so it's basically like a quickly batch fading uh, uh, or batch exporting a bunch of samples from an unedited file. Okay, um, unfortunately I haven't found a way to do it in Ableton or FL Studio, which is why I'm in Pro Tools, okay. Um, and yeah, it's actually really quick, you only have to press a few buttons and <laughs> everything happens on its own. Okay, so first step obviously is going to be to import the audio. Uh, next, we're going to go right into Beat Detective, okay. What this does is it's going to detect all the transients Okay, at the beginning of your uh, drum hits and stuff like that. So, select your file, hit clip separation here, capture selection, analyze. And now you're, you're going to see something like this. Okay, where, you know, you have purple lines and it that's where the transient detection happened. And based on what I can see here, it's pretty accurate. Let's just check a couple more here. Ah, okay, yeah, that's really good actually. It's really good. <laughs> really accurate. Okay, so uh, trigger pad, I like having at zero because sometimes they'll cut before and you'll have some extra audio so it won't play right away when you want it. So yeah, zero for that. Uh, sometimes you do have to adjust the sensitivity but it depends case by case. Uh, so we're going to separate the audio here and let's check out what that did. So, um, essentially, whoops it actually split up all the samples like that right at the transient okay the only problem here now is that we have a bunch of audio left afterwards okay luckily we don't have to do this manually either we got something called strip silence in Pro Tools uh, okay so yeah that's gonna cut the audio afterwards so you can go and edit here strip silence and I already messed with some settings usually you'll start off uh, 500 milliseconds negative 48 something like that Okay, so what you're looking for essentially is to uh, cut all the silence after the sample, okay? And you'll have to go, you know, through and look at a lot of the samples, like here didn't get anything. And we're maxed out here in terms of threshold, so we'll uh, reduce the minimum clip duration. 300 is usually good uh, in my experience. Uh, so yeah, th that looks pretty good. You don't want to cut too much of the waveform out. And even if there's a little click, let's say at the end, you can we're going to be fading it anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. Uh, it's not perfect. Sometimes you'll have to manually um, edit some of them. But right now it's looking pretty good. Like, uh, yeah, that, that, I'm pretty happy with that. So stripped silence like that. Uh, like I said, you, you'll have one or two uh, rebellious little guys. <laughs> so you just want don't create any fades yet. Okay, just really cut the silence out. <clears throat> the reason you don't want to do fades yet is because we're going to batch fade right after this. Okay. And yeah, let's check it out. This is really good. Yeah. Um, so now, select all. We're going to hit Control F or Command F. <clears throat> no fade in. Okay. Um, if you do fade in, it's gonna, it could ruin your transient. Even one millisecond. And trust me, I've done it. Um, so crossfade, not necessary this time. Fade out is what we're looking for. And uh, the length is going to be 10 milliseconds, like that. Press OK. And let's check out, uh, check that out. So yeah, no clicks at the end of the sample, which is really good. And everything is separated so far. Um, there you go. <laughs> Looking pretty good so far. Uh, there's, I believe, two or three more steps after this, okay? Um, the next step after this is we're going to normalize all the audio. So audio suit, other, gain, okay, and we're going to create individual files here, uh, entire selection, that's good, and render. There you go. Okay, so that just normalized all the files here. And yeah, now basically what we have to do is export all this stuff. It's already all chopped up. It sounds great. I played in the middle of a sample here but anyways uh, so we're gonna select all once again control shift K okay 
file type wave is good uh, interleaved is good for the format if you do multiple mono which it is by default you're gonna get two files per file which is annoying you'll get a left and a right uh, interleaved is just like your typical mp3 wave uh, that's stereo uh, bit depth 24 is fine sample rate a lot of sample pack companies will want uh, 44 1 so I just like to stick with that uh, and even in my da overall um, it's I, I like to stick to 44 1 okay um, but yeah 48 is good as long as you're consistent okay uh, choose your destination that's really important because it can be quite tedious sometimes so I'll go in um, my desktop create a folder there and yeah you can Either of these options really work. Prompt, yeah, <laughs> doesn't matter. All right, that is the process. And the video so far took five minutes. So uh, if I did this manually, it could have taken uh, probably 30, 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes. <laughs> and I'll just go in Ableton and show you that the folder is there <laughs> and, and the samples are so well chopped up. Like it's incredible. I'm just gonna wait for this to load up right, right here. And yeah, we're good. So as you can see, all the transients start literally at the beginning of the file. And everything is so well chopped up, like um, there's barely any silence after the kicks here, if you look. So yeah, <laughs> hopefully that's helpful. Once again, um, until I find another way to do it other than Pro Tools, you know, this is the, the best way. And um, it's the only way I know of, actually. <laughs> And uh, yeah, just um, it's really helpful for if you do like field recording and you get a bunch of stuff, you know, like just a bunch of random sounds or if you mess around with the synth and stuff um, and you get a big, long, unedited file and you're like, oh my God, well, a technique like this could be, you know, an interesting way to approach it. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video today and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. If you have any requests and stuff like that, be sure to shoot them down below. So yeah, take care, guys. Peace.